hijackers are in Italian custody tonight, and the Italians say that they want to bring them to trial. Chris Wallace is at the White House right now. Chris, there is this intriguing question of how much the Egyptians knew, when they knew it, and how much collusion there was between President Mubarak and President Reagan. Now, Larry Speaks has been saying all night tonight they were very unhappy with the Egyptians, but we all know that the Egyptians count heavily on the United States to the tune of, what, about a billion dollars a year in economic aid? Well, Tom, Larry Speaks categorically denied that Egypt helped in any way, gave the U.S. any hints as to what was going on, or in fact, collaborated, as you said, in this intercept. And as you also heard Larry Speaks say, he went to some lengths to criticize Egypt for having let the hijackers go in the first place. But there are some intriguing questions. Uh, we are told that the president approved the specific plan to intercept around 3.20 this afternoon, and yet the plane didn't take off until sometime after 4. How did he know it was about to take off? Uh, we're also told that the U.S. was able to pinpoint this one civilian airliner as it headed to Tunisia across the uh, Mediterranean. On the other hand, last week, the U.S. said that it was unable to detect a squadron of Israeli jets as they were on their way to Tunisia uh, to bomb uh, PLO headquarters there. So it, it does raise questions, and it's an important point. And I, some people here are suspicious about whether the U.S. would really level, even if Mubarak were helping, because if any of hint of that gets out, it's very damaging to Mubarak as he tries to establish his ties with the Arab world. Any idea that he delivered these hijackers to the U.S.? Do we have any sense about how actively they will pursue extradition if the Italians say that they'll go ahead and put them on trial? Well, all we are told on this is that the U.S. wants them, wants the br to bring them back to the U.S. for trial, and that, uh, in fact, Larry Speak said that it will file papers for extradition within hours, uh, we assume tomorrow at some point. Uh, they are saying at this point that uh, they think, they expect the, uh, the Italians to go ahead with prosecution, but if not, we want them back here. Thanks very much. Chris Wallace at the White House.